Hello, welcome to the Yarnjuni Garden. We're not in the not in the studio today because we thought it's such a lovely warm day. It's uh, I don't know about 18 degrees and uh, the birds are singing and yep. the sun is shining. Well, most of the time, and it's lovely and warm. So we thought we'd come outside and do the video rather than setting it up inside. So. What have we got, Nikki? Well, here we are. We're, I'm knitting some. I'm knitting some legs today. These these will be unicorn legs, and I'm knitting them flat, which I don't often do, but today I am. But I also thought I'd show you how to knit them two at a time. Look, I've got two legs on the go, and uh, just to show you that you can do this, it's really great fun, and it's so much quicker and easier. So you do need two balls of wool, otherwise you get what I call Siamese legs, you know, where they're joined <laughs> together, um, which doesn't actually work because the unicorns get there. They can't walk with, with joined legs. Um, so you have two, uh, two legs on the go, and really all you need to do is just cast one on, and then you cast the other on. And then as you work it, you work one all the way to the end, like this. Oops, there we go. And then you move that down and you just go to the next one. Pick Make up sure you've your got yarn. the right yarn. Oh yes, yes, just do check your balls. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, you pick that up and away you go with your second one. So really easy to knit two at a time. And you know that um, they're the same length. You, well, this is the good bit about it is, yeah, you know you've done them exactly the same. They've both got the same number of rows in there. Um, so it's a really handy way to do two things the same. So for our patterns, you know, there's often there's two legs, two arms, uh, two ears. Two, well, we've got two of lots of things. We have. Uh, we have. Um, so I often try and knit them two at a time because it's just a lot easier. And then you don't get second leg syndrome, <laughs> which is, I'm told, the official name. Second sock syndrome, we call it, with sock knitting. Um, but yes, you, you get through to the end of one and you go, oh, I'm bored with that now, I don't want to knit the other one. And then the project, all, whole project comes to a halt. So yeah, knit things two at a time, highly recommended. And, um, and you can knit them in the round two at a time. You can, you can. And I think we'll do a separate video yes. on that to show you how to do it. But with the magic loop technique, you absolutely can do it two, in the round two at a time. So um, another day, we will show you how to knit two arms in the round, maybe. Maybe we'll do our unicorn arms in the round and we'll knit them two at a time. So I'm not sure unicorns have back. arms, Nikki. Oh, they have front legs. <laughs> they have front legs. They have something. Do you think these are going to look hoof-like enough? They're, I think they're, they're, they're looking pretty hoof-like. Yeah, this, this, this is a whole new pattern we're doing here. It's a bit of designing going on. Um, so we're thinking about how can we make hoof like legs look so this is our new this is our new, unicorn he's yeah. having a remake he is so so this is this is his like his hoof going round that's coming in and oops and the other thing when you're sitting on a deck is don't drop your needles on the deck look look uh -oh. these big gaps how many needles have you lost them? well it, my husband's lost a few pencils down there yeah. there's one or two the little genie goes along and she goes oh look daddy you can see your pencil down there <laughs> he's not terribly impressed with that no um, so there we go. That's today's little handy knit hint. Knit two at a time. We love it. Thank you.